here's one of the first photography books that I ever bought. Actually, it's I'm pretty sure it is the first photography book I bought. Um, shortly after I got interested in, in fine art photography, and I discovered it at uh, St. Mark's Bookshop in New York City on a uh, sale table. I think I, play, I paid ten bucks for it. And uh, it's called Philosophers by Steve Pike. So I'm going to show you this book. The book was, oops, I don't even know what edition this is. I think this is sort of the second printing or something like that. Not that it matters. Philosopher Steve Pike. And it still is one of my favorite books. Uh, I had had certain ideas about what a good portrait is or was, you know, back then. And um, this book taught me that a lot of my ideas were actually wrong or that you could do many things with portraiture that went beyond the ideas that I had had. Um, and I think this might be one of those books that's uh, a bit underrated or overlooked for whatever reason. There's a, I think there's a new book with new photographs that just came out, which I have not seen. Um, <clears throat> but I was, back then I was just struck with the fact that, you know, somebody would get so close, so unflinchingly close to these people and take these photographs, uh, literally sticking the camera into their faces and, and showing all those details on their faces, uh, you know, the ginormous bushy eyebrows of the old men. And I suppose in, in some way or another some of these photographs aren't even good photographs because they might be blurry or unflattering or whatever they are, but I think they all work really well. Um, uh, I was, of course, I was reminded of some of the work that Richard Avedon had done. Richard Avedon always had, I think he was always a little bit too obsessed with celebrities and his own weird ideas. I guess in a sense maybe each photographer is very obsessed with her or his own ideas. That's a different issue. But thinking about uh, Richard Avedon's photographs of his of his ailing dad, I think they have the quality that these photographs have. I don't know if you watch this in HD, you can maybe read the, the names off of the page here. A lot of these uh, people are very famous, well-known philosophers. Here's Jacques Derrida. I think he actually died. Uh, in the meantime, this is an old book. So the dates are a little bit off. There's a quote for each philosopher. There's a quote um, sort of summarizing um, the philosopher's outlook or idea about philosophy. Some of them seem more posed than others. I, th I suppose that's just what happens when you do when you do portraits. But just, for example, to see the the hair coming out of the ears, not photoshopped, just just the way people are. I just think I was very fascinated seeing that when I first saw this book. This is so interesting, and I still. Uh, I still think Habermas it is a very good book.
is just a stunning photograph. Beautiful. I used to, to joke with friends that the one thing that I would be looking forward to when getting old is getting these, these bushy, crazy eyebrows that these people have. Of course, that's maybe the only thing that you can look forward to if you're a male when you age. I'm just kidding. But um, all joking aside, I think this is a book that. Um, certainly deserves to be more widely seen again and as I said there is a there's a new book which I have not seen yet I think that just came out last year or maybe even this year of course one aspect that I really like about this book is the fact that we are looking at philosophers um, people who deal with all kinds of uh, ideas and topics. I guess you could say that a lot of us think that what these philosophers are doing is just a waste of everybody's time. They're not contributing anything to the economy. And of course that's true in some way. Yet another way, it's it's very likely that the contributions made by some of the people in this book will last quite a bit longer than the contributions that all these well-known business leaders that we admire so much these days you know their contributions might be forgotten really soon here's Karl Popper So there's that aspect of a photographer preserving that heritage of all these John Rawls, these people whose thinking has shaped our world in ways that we often don't realize. John Searle. So here's something for, for the artist. If you can't say it clearly, you don't understand it yourself. Soft cover bends just a little bit too much for the presentation, but I think you can see this still really well. As before, I watched this in HD so you can see more of the details, especially you know seeing some of the details in the faces and some of these prints. And that's it. There's something else here. You can see these things too. There it is, ten bucks. One of the best ten bucks I've ever spent. Philosophers by Steve Pike.